This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Car Guys New England, and uh, today we're going to talk about cryptocurrency. And uh, the reason for talking about that, there's a lot of stories circulating online about a guy who bought a Lamborghini in Bitcoin. And uh, there's also an older story out there about a gentleman who actually bought a uh, Tesla uh, $100,000 Tesla back in, I believe it was 2013 with Bitcoin. So let's talk about that. So cryptocurrency, it's the big hot thing right now. You know, things like uh, Litecoin uh, or even uh, Ethereum or uh, even something like uh, Bitcoin. Uh, that's kind of the mainstream one. Uh, also, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, uh, and a million other cryptocurrencies are out there now. Uh, just to talk about this stuff in general, um, and getting back to the car point, it seems like the prices on the cryptocurrencies keeps going up. So it's almost an unwise thing to buy a vehicle with it. So, for example, that gentleman who bought the Tesla um, with Bitcoin, spent $100,000 in Bitcoin back then. Uh, now, with the current price of Bitcoin, he probably spent over $500,000 uh, in cryptocurrency on a vehicle, which uh, is kind of foolish. Um, now, a lot of you guys are probably asking, so how do you get involved in cryptocurrency and, and you know stuff like that? Uh, there are two different ways. Uh, I'll tell you guys the pros and cons of it as well. Um, so the two different ways to get your hands on cryptocurrency are one, to buy it in, a, in an exchange, uh, or two, to mine it using hardware and collecting rewards and, and things like that. Um, so one of the biggest disadvantages, uh, especially right now, a lot of people are flipping out over the price of Bitcoin and they're buying it at extremely inflated prices right now. And this is just my opinion on this, but this is a very, very bad time to buy uh, Bitcoin. This is just my opinion on it. Not talking about other cryptocurrencies, uh, but Bitcoin in general, probably not a good idea to, um, to, to just buy it right now. The market's very, very volatile. Things can happen, things like that. Um, however... It is a good time right now with the high prices to mine it, but it comes with a serious problem. Uh, the problem is right now within the mining industry, there is no place to put your machines. So unless you're going to do it out of your house and you don't mind listening to a mining machine uh, fans whizzing in the house and the high pitch noise of that, then, um, you know, that, that's one way to, to make some money doing that. Uh, but you're not going to be able to find a big data center for large scale uh, to, to do it on a, a huge scale. And that's where you can really make the money doing this. Um, the other issue is, too, with the high price of Bitcoin, uh, the demand has went through the roof on the machines. And machines that once cost about $700 to $1,400 uh, you know, now if you go on eBay, uh, you can see that same machine going for over $10,000. It would actually be a good time uh, to cash in on that and do what these people are doing, quite, quite frankly, um, you know, if you could get your hands on the machines. Um, but anyways, that's kind of what's going on within the industry at the moment. Um, you know, there's just a huge waiting list for machines, no rack space to put the machines, um, you know, and, and tons of people now are on the exchanges buying different cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, uh, Litecoin, because those are some of the, the less expensive ones at the moment uh, that are on the more public um, exchanges, for example, like Coinbase um, or, or something like that. But anyways, just want to give you guys a quick overview about crypto and things like that. And uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, be sure to give the video a like. If you have questions, comments, things like that, be sure to comment down below. And, uh, you know, if we get a good response on this video, maybe we'll do some other more in-depth things about it uh, on the channel. 
Uh, but anyways, this is Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.